Leverage Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the braided puff stitch, which you can see here in this watch in front of you. And it is basically a series of puff stitches, but because of the way they're worked, and especially when you work them in multiple colors, they look as though uh, they have been braided. So this is a stitch we're going to learn today. I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook along with the Karen uh, Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations. And uh, information about both of these items can be found in the description for this video. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for joining me. And uh, while you're here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you see here today. If you like it, be sure to give a thumbs up. So grab a hook and some yarn and uh, let's learn how to crochet this braided puff stitch. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and then working a foundation chain. Our foundation chain today can be any multiple of two stitches. So even any even number. Today, I'm going to chain a total of 20 stitches for you. There's 10. And 20. Once you have your chain of any even number, you're going to begin your first row by counting in and working a double crochet stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four, five. Into that fifth chain, you're going to work a double crochet. Your chain four at the beginning counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. Once you've worked your double crochet, we're going to work our first puff stitch and we're going to work it into the chain stitch right before that double crochet. To work your puff stitch, we're going to yarn over, reach back into that skipped chain space and insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop to the height of your double crochet. You're going to do that for a total of four or five times, however uh, many times you feel, you can even do it more or less, however many times you feel uh, you need to for the yarn that you have. So today I'm going to uh, yarn over and insert my hook and drop a loop uh, a total of four times. So there's one, then insert my hook, yarn over, insert my hook into that same stitch. There's two, insert my hook into the same stitch. There's three, yarn over, insert my hook into that same stitch. That's four each time bringing it up to the height of your double crochet. You're then going to yarn over and draw through all those loops on your hook. And you may kind of have to fiddle with it to get it through all those loops. Chain one, skip the next chain and double crochet into the next one. We're now going to work another puff stitch into that skipped stitch. Yarn over, reach back and into that skipped stitch, insert your hook. In this foundation chain, it might be a little tricky. Yarn over and draw up a loop to the same height. Do that as many times as needed. I'm going to do it three more times all into the same stitch. yarn over and pull through all those loops on your hook. Chain one, skip the next chain 
and double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So puff stitch back into that skipped chain, chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next stitch all the way down to the end where you will end with your double crochet. I am just completing my final puff stitch here in my first round, chaining one, and then into my last stitch, working a double crochet stitch. I'm then going to chain three and turn my work. At this time, I'm going to skip the first chain one and into that next chain one space, I'm going to work a double crochet stitch. Next, our puff stitch is going to be worked back into the chain one that we skipped, into that chain one space. So I'm going to yarn over and then reach back into that chain one space, work your puff stitch. There's one two, three, and four. Yarn over and pull through all the loops, chain one. Skip the next puff stitch and into the next chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook, and double crochet. Now reaching back into the previous chain one space, work your puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch, double crochet into the next chain one space, and now puff stitch into the previous chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Just coming up to the end here, I'm going to work a double crochet into that chain, starting chain space, work my final puff stitch, and then work my final double crochet into the top of that start starting turning chain. So that is what it should look like. Now if you wanted to change color at this point, I'm going to go back just a short step. I'm going to go back to halfway into my double crochet. I'm not going to complete that stitch. But instead I'm going to pick up my next color, place it on my hook, and complete the double crochet stitch with it. I can then pull those two ends tight and then later on I can go back and weave those ends in to secure them a little bit better. I'm then ready to chain three and start my new row in the new color. And that's an easy way to change yarn or add a new ball of yarn in any of your crochet projects. From this point on you're going to simply repeat the row that you just worked. So skip the first chain one space, double crochet into the next chain one space, then reach back and work your puff stitch into that previous space. Chain one, 
chain one, double crochet into the next, and so forth. If you want to change colors, you're going to change your colors after every second row uh, for as many times as you would like. And other than that, you're just going to keep making your rows of uh, puff stitch for the uh, entire pattern. And that's all there is to working the braided puff stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.